This is a story about what to do on a date. It begins one early summer afternoon. It begins with Jeff and Kay and Nick. Of course, you may not have a problem about what to do on a date, but Nick, well, he has a real dating problem. If he took Kay out on a date, what would they do? Where would they go? Just a minute, Jeff. I'll get my tennis racket. Okay, Nick, but hurry. Hey, what about asking Kay to come to the community center with us on Friday to fix up that scavenger sale? We could make it a double date. What? You heard what I said. That's no place to take a girl on a date, helping to fix up the scavenger sale, is it? Why not? On a first date? First date? Yeah. Well, Kay's a swell girl. I was gonna... I was thinking of calling her. Maybe ask her to the show Friday. Good picture. Wagon train. Well, hurry up and call her and let's get going. I still have to get my things yet. Call her now? Sure. You know the number, don't you? Okay. What if she says no? Hello? Oh, hello, Kay. This is Nick Baxter. Oh, hello, Nick. How are you? Fine, thanks. Say, Kay, next Friday, would you like to see Wagon Train at the movies? Oh, I'm sorry, Nick. I suppose you've got your mind made up to see it? You've seen it? She's already seen it. Well, ask her about the scavenger set. Go ahead. Uh, Kay, you wouldn't want to help get the scavenger sale ready at the community center, would you? Oh, I've been hearing about that. Yes, I'd like to very much. You would? All right, I'll call for you then. About seven? Bye. I sure didn't think she'd go to a place like that for a date. Where's my racket? Oh, ready? You know, you better think some more, fellow, about what to do on a date. Do you think you'll have a good time? What do you suppose I'll have to do? You know who I'll gonna... Now, you may not have thought of this sort of thing as a place to take a date, but it looks like it could be fun. A group doing things together. Pretty good idea for a first date. Plenty to do, plenty of people to talk to. Can you help me put this sign up? Oh, sure. I can't quite reach that far. How's this? That's about right. Thanks. Say, Kay, are you really having a good time? Of course I am. I'm glad you thought of coming here. So am I. I mean, yes, it was a good idea. Okay. How about helping with refreshments for the gang? All right. See you later. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, oh, sure. Yes, it was a good idea to come here. How does Jeff get ideas like that? Hey, what's this? Maybe this is where Jeff gets ideas. A list of coming activities. A bike trip. That could be a lot of fun. A chance to do things with a group to get acquainted. It does look like a good time, if your partner likes it. 
Would Kay enjoy a bike trip? Or a weenie roast? Another group date. A chance to learn the give and take of working and playing together. Not much arranging needed, not much expense. And that can be important. Could be a fine date, if Kay would like it. Wonder if she'd like to go to a baseball game. A date that's not too involved, one you can carry through comfortably. And there are all sorts of other sports events, inexpensive dates, most of them. Swimming meets, for example. You can find many good ideas for dates. Dates that give you a good chance to get acquainted. And dates that you don't have to worry too much about in advance. It was a good deal coming here tonight, double dating with Jeff and Phyllis. When all four are good friends and enjoy the same things, double dates can be lots of fun. Or you can ask Kay to go on dates with you alone, if you plan for what she enjoys. Hey, you loafer. What are you doing over there? Be right there. Fine thing. As soon as Kay isn't around to supervise, you go off on a vacation. You know, Maestro, I don't think your date ideas are so original. What? About what to do on a date, I mean. But what I'd like to know is, how can you figure out what a girl would like to do? A certain girl, I mean. Well, you might ask her. Yeah, Nick's looking for you. Is he good company? He always seems so quiet. We get along all right. He's got a good sense of humor, and we haven't run out of things to say yet. He's kind of cute. You gonna date him again? I don't know. Besides, he hasn't asked me. George, get out of there. I'm hungry. If you want to do something, take the Cokes out there. Okay, come on, where you go? All set? I think so. Come and get it, everybody. Come on, we eat. Let's go. Hi, stranger. I decided to come out of hiding. Say, this looks good. You make the sandwiches? Glad we will get to go play. Uh -huh. Where should we go? How about over here? Oh, fine. Your table, madame. Thank you, sir. This is fun, isn't it? Yeah. You sure you like to do things like this? Sure. I thought all girls wanted fellas to take them to fancy places, spend lots of money. Not this girl. You know, I sort of like things like this, too. You won't laugh. I like to go on bicycle trips, too. Do you? In miniature golf, do you like that? Yeah, and weenie roasts and square dances. And baseball games and taffy pulls. I think they're swell. Say, you like to do lots of things, don't you? Say, Kay, next Friday there's going to be a weenie roast, or there'll be a bowling party if you'd rather do that, or, or we could go to the band concert. Oh, I'd enjoy going to the weenie roast very much, unless you'd rather go bowling. No, I'd rather go to the weenie roast. If Jeff goes with Phyllis, we could double date with them. Hey, Nick, hey, come on, we're going to break open the ice cream. Okay, be right there. Is it all right then, about Friday? Yes, Nick, it's a date. Yes, there are lots of things to do on dates. If you know how to look for them, if you plan them with the other person in mind, and if you really try to make sure each date's a good time. If you do these things, you'll know what to do on your date. Mm -hmm.